Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is the horoscope for Leo. <laughs> it's been a minute, Leo. This is a reading for Leo. Uh, and if Leo is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so we have, yes, my favorite card, the Knight of Cups. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very emotional, very lovely, very deep, like just like a wealth of, uh, it is, it's like emotional intelligence, I guess. And somebody just very in tune right? Very in tune with how they feel, they're psychic, they're physical, all of the things. Like it all kind of comes together here in the Knight of Cups. So let's go ahead. We're going to take a look, see what this energy has to do with these tea leaves. And I wanted to say thank you again for being here. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing that. You can hit that little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. I don't want you to miss any of your readings. We have playlists on here um, for each sign. Check out your solar, your lunar, your Venus, you know. Um, what's the one? The Lilith. I always look up. I like to look at my Lilith readings personally. Um, and also, if you want to leave a comment or uh, hit that like button, I would not be mad at you. Okay, so we have, it looks like... I know we have L-E for sure. It looks like L-E. It kind of looks like L-E-N-O. And I'm not just saying that because my name is L-E-N-O-R. Uh, but it looks like L-E-N-O. Leno. Or maybe on this side it does look like O-N-E but the E is kind of backwards. So it could be one as well, spelled out. Okay, let's see. Maybe you're just like a really big fan of Jay Leno, right? <laughs> now down here, it looks like we have a, uh, a cow, actually. You can see right here, here's the eye, here is the ear, and it comes down into the nose over here. Here's kind of the front legs, and the body would be right in here. And definitely gives me uh, Hawthorne vibes, okay? So we know Hawthorne is... Uh, one of the chief deities in the Egyptian systems, both the old dynasties and new. She is the consort of Horus, right? The sun, the uh, um, hawk. And she is represented uh, in a variety of forms, but in her tie to motherhood and fertility and and um, kind of, well, you know, the, the closeness of the feminine with the child and uh, the kind of nurturing nature, uh, very much an empress energy. Uh, she is definitely related to that cow. Okay, so the cow is uh, the motherhood, the, the all mother. And... So we have this energy of the mother. We have a person behind as well, okay? Kind of fighting with somebody else back here too. <laughs> so I feel like you might be uh, in this mother role. You might be the head of the family. You might be the patriarch, the matriarch. Um, now I talk about motherhood. It doesn't mean that you are a woman or that you have children. It, you know, it, we all have every archetype within us and sometimes yeah we activate that mother archetype uh it doesn't matter if you are currently raising children or not uh but i see that within 
the family or the friends group or your acquaintances, maybe even at work. Maybe you're like a work, you know, the, the nurturing archetype at work, right? You're the one that takes care of everybody, makes sure everybody's, you know, remembered on their birthdays. You, you know, are, uh, give good advice and, and keep the tension down and, you know, all those kinds of things. But we have here in the background, uh, these two people who are kind of in this argument, they're in a little bit of a tussle, it seems. And I feel like for you, you're starting to feel a little bit, maybe pressured to get involved or you've tried to, you know, help sort things out and it's not really going anywhere and it's kind of frustrating and, and it, you know, this is kind of a place where maybe we take our, a little bit of a reprieve from the situation. We think about what can we do? How can I help? What, you know, what, what is going on here really, you know? And, uh, and that's where I think I find you here is kind of deciding how are you going to go about, um, lending a hand? you know what are what what will you do and maybe what will you not do maybe you decide mm, this isn't really you know my uh what do they say not my circus not my monkeys or i think that's how it's said not my circus not my monkeys or not my monkeys not my circus whatever however it's said um yeah not right and so uh, I do. I feel you kind of coming to some kind of resolution about this. And, and as I turned it, I saw we have two people who are kind of standing together talking. And so I feel like as that energy kind of leaves the noise of it all, if you can imagine, right, if you had kids or have kids, you have more than one, uh, the arguing between siblings, right? And maybe not right in front of you, but in the room down the hallway and you can just hear it like echoing through the house. <laughs> and uh, finally, you know, everybody's getting along and it goes kind of silent and there is room to breathe. If even for just a minute, I feel like as this energy exits your life, there's room for some love. There's room for some flirtation, Leo. And I do. I feel like you are in a place where you are returning to love. You are choosing love. You are choosing that which makes your life feel worthwhile, right? Instead of going after, uh, you know, things that are ultimately choosing against your well-being. I feel like you're in this place where you are really, really advocating for yourself with yourself, right? And that doesn't mean it's the easy thing. Not at all. Sometimes what we really need is to get out of our comfort zone. There's no room for growth when we're always staying in the same position, right? We're always, we find something, it works for us, it feels like, okay, Maybe we can maintain this for however long. I can just kind of rest for a little bit and hopefully it'll just keep, you know, staying at this pace. And that's fine. That's fine. We all need those moments of rest, but then you get into like a year, two years, five years, 15 years. You've been doing the same thing every, you know, every day of the week's the same. All, every weekend is the same, uh, you know, and you just are going through the motions at that point. Well, I don't think that's for you. Not at all. I see you pushing yourself into, well, uncomfortable places, right? And I don't mean like in a terrible way or whatever, but yeah, taking a leap of faith, right? Going the extra mile building yourself up that might be in your career that might be your well it could be your psychic well-being it could be socially within your relationship it could be your money right i mean that's usually what it is right we're trying to build that money up and yeah i see you really getting at it right not just sitting around waiting for something to happen 
And so uh, you are, you're constantly in movement. And that's the truest statement I could really say about a Leo is that it is hard to keep up with you all. I am so happy that I have a few good placements in Leo, especially my Venus. My Venus is in Leo and you know what? It keeps me on my toes. And absolutely, I thank the heavens every day for that. Uh, a Leo is not one to kind of just sit and um, like vegetate, right? Or sit and just like wait. Wait, oh, the, you know, I'm gonna wait until you know my number is called. Nah, you're gonna get out there and you're gonna do something, right? You're going to get this thing going now, now, now. And so. Uh, I do. I see you really coming to this place of like not being as worried about what other people are doing around you. Hopefully there is some harmony. There's a little bit of this love life happening, right? Feeling pretty good about that. It's like a glowing feeling over there. And also, you know, really, really motivated to get something going for yourself or to continue doing so. Now I look up here and we have the goat. So this really leads me to believe that you are so fortified and so ready to do whatever it takes to get it done. If it means that you're going to have to scale up the side of a sheer rock face, you better believe Leo is getting up there and getting up there first right? You are not giving up. You're doing the dang thing. And I feel like ultimately this is going to be a great time. And we have a person here who looks like, oops, it looks like they're holding a horn. Oh, I'm just knocking everything around where they're holding a horn here. And you can see here's the head, here's the body, right? And let me see. Yeah, and here's the arm and here's the horn. Okay, so the the horn is blown for the beginning of a ceremony, a ritual, an operation, whatever it is, right? And so for me, this really tells me that not only in your physical world where you are building yourself up and building something for yourself and stacking that money and getting things right. You are standing on your square. You are balanced. And when you're not, you're still keeping your footing strong. Now, this is leading to what feels like a real renaissance spiritually. I feel like for the first time in a long time, you're feeling pretty dang good. You're feeling very connected with yourself. You're feeling connected with the universe. Things feel like they're actually happening for you. Not like, hopefully if I do this work by next year, something will be going. No, this is you beginning to really, really get on now, okay? and you're starting to get some traction and you're starting to see all of this hard work has been worth it and it will continue to be more and more worth it. There's going to be something here that is going to make you very happy, okay? I feel you gaining a lot of confidence and retaining a lot of power, okay? So that is such an important thing for us to learn is how to let our energy flow through us in a way that we can make use of, right? We're not just wasting it all over the place. Now, let's take a look over here. We have LE again. LE seems very important. So we have something like a llama or a, what are they called? An alpaca, an alpaca. And looks like a swan. 
We have a little bird on a nest. I almost wonder if you have a grandchild or a child or there is the younger person in your life that's really into like llamas. Maybe they have clothing that has the llamas. It is a kind of popular um, symbol to be on kids' clothes. But uh, something to do with llamas and a younger person. Um, now, I feel like this is a kid that has struggled um, maybe fitting in socially or finding their people or, or even just kind of finding their reason to be here. And I know it's terrible to say, uh, but more and more, you know, and I, I didn't notice kids that much, you know, until I had one. Um, I spent a lot of years just in an adult world, <laughs> like not, not around kids at all. And, um, and so I, I often question myself, has it always been like this or is this like getting worse? Right. But I feel like more and more kids. It's like they don't all have, what is the, it's not drive or it's like an excitement, that fire about life. I feel like a lot of, a lot of kids are just not as maybe interested in the world, right? About the variety and the nuance, the novelty. A lot of, you know, they're in their, they're on their devices and they're in their small little micro universes. And I don't necessarily, I'm not one to knock technology or how things change. I'm not like an old head that's like, oh, back in my day, we used to drink out of the hose, which we did. Um, which we did. <laughs> uh, but... Um, you know, I, I do think that some things have changed, obviously, and kids are growing up differently, even, you know, from 10 years ago to the kids growing up now, it's a lot different. And, uh, and so I feel like you have somebody in your life who is young and maybe struggling with how to, well, how to be a, a member of their community, how to know people, you know? Uh, I, I think a lot of kids, when they're really young, they're pretty good at, you know, just going up and being like, hey, do you want to be my friend? You want to play? But as they get older, I feel like what I'm trying to get to here is, you know, how people say, like, once you're in your 30s or 40s, it's really hard to make friends. Well, I feel like even younger now, kids are like, they're having the same struggles as us old people to make friends, to connect with people. And, you know, I think that this situation that has come up in your life, it's like the universe is pushing you towards it because there's something in there for you to do. You will be helpful in some way that maybe you don't even realize. But I feel like this is somebody that really needs support from you and you're real, you're willing to give it, right? And so, you know, if you notice and they have not come to you, um, maybe it's worth thinking about approaching the situation and seeing what it is that you can help with, right? Because it'll be different in each situation. But I do feel like this is somebody who wants and needs to be heard. Okay? And I do. I think that's the big thing is they want to be heard. All right. Let's do our lucky numbers. We're going to do our lucky numbers. Number 86. Number 53. Number 21. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. Now, we're going to switch over here to our Mary Magdalene Oracle cards. And we're just going to flip through and stop where it feels right. And we'll see. We'll see. What does that have to say? It's going to punctuate this reading. Presence. I exist intensely. I call myself back from all times and all places. I 
call myself back from all times and all places. I exist intensely. Heck yeah. I like it. I'm, I'm with you. Me too. Although I do need a nap. <laughs> Maybe a little less intensely for a little bit. <laughs> All right, Leo, I'm going to tell you I love you because I do. And I thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. And if you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. And if you'd like to leave a comment, please, please, yes, go ahead, do it. I read them all. I love hearing from you. I miss you. And we will talk real soon. Good night, good night, good night.